Welcome to New York. Um, okay. Please excuse the appearance. I just got to the hotel, obviously. I've, I've been traveling since like, what time did I wake up at? 4.30. I'm in New York this week for New Friends with Awesomeness TV. It's a short little trip, nothing crazy. I really wanna try and see Lexi while I'm here because I haven't seen that girl for so long. So I'm hoping we'll be able to do that, but I know she's in class. Like she's in class until 10 p.m. today. Just ordered some room service. I'm gonna get myself settled, take a shower, and first item on today's agenda, or this evening, what is it, it's almost 6 p.m., is to head to the Apple store because my computer charger broke. Like, like as I was leaving to pack it, it just kind of, so we need to go pick up one of those. But honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing tonight. All I know is I got a slow cycle class tomorrow morning because we are overachievers. I'm so hungry, this looks so good. Got a Caesar salad with some grilled chicken, grilled asparagus. Got some bread in there. And then I also got some green tea and I'm about to go in. Wow. We got some complimentary macaroons up in here. I don't know which one. This looks like lemon poppy seed. I'm gonna go for this one. All right, I'm freshly washed. I feel so clean. I'm gonna go to the Apple store now. Oh, that's my new hairdo. Oh my God. Show the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, you guys, it got even better. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he looks like he belongs in the strokes for sure. So good. Anyway, anyway. Anyway. It's about not Did I just did I hear something? Did you hear? Did you hear me hear something? As you guys saw, I was just FaceTiming with my family. My parents are visiting Marston and Lauren in London, so it was like 1 p.m. or no, 1 a.m. their time. And they were so drunk, passing around the wig. My dad was being so funny. So I stayed on FaceTime with them for a little bit. Ended up on YouTube, started watching this guy named John Fish. I stumbled upon one of his videos called like A Day in the Life of a Harvard Student. I just got really fascinated and just continued to watch watch a bunch of his videos. But it's 9 p.m. right now, Lexi's finishing up her class, and then we are going to a comedy show tonight, and I'm so excited. Here's the look. Ever since I got these Doc Martens, I've been obsessed with them. Breaking them in at Coachella was actually the greatest thing I could have ever done, because I traveled in these all day at the airport and flying, and no blisters, baby. So comfy. <laughs> That's not the same for sex addicts. It's like, ah, let's not bring Harrison. Because he'll eat out someone I love. And Mogi, so. <laughs> Vlogging was a fail tonight. <laughs> I would say the comedy club was more of a miss than a hit tonight. The yeah. one guy I really liked was the Comedy Central. He was um, so awkward and so funny. Mm -hmm. And he worked that to his advantage. He made a joke about watching his mom piss on the side of the road during road trips. Oh my god, that part was so funny. About his grandma biting him in the back. <laughs> on his birthday. But he starts out the joke and he's like, so I had this birthday party when I was 12, right? Like I have a birthday in the summer and and in the summertime when you're holding a birthday party, it's kind of confusing whether or it's not- It's hit or miss because you don't know if people are going to be on vacation, if they're going to show up and so, so- I invited all my friends to my birthday party and then no one showed up. But it's fine because my grandma got wasted and bit me in the back. <laughs> like, what is happening? I don't- just the way he was saying it We're though, not comedians. We're, just trust we're not. Us oh my god. He, he is and he, he does it well. He is and he did it really well. Basically, we're now in my room. We're hanging out. We are catching up. I braided Lexi's hair. We had like that moment where she sat on the floor, <laughs> I sat on the bed. We braided each other's hair and talked about life. You know, it's been one of those. It's 2 a.m. now. I feel like it's been a you long be time since I've dead. been on this channel. It's really strange because I'm thinking back to the last time that I was on here. I'm like, do like do some of these people not even know who you are? I feel well, like they have to give you an intro. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm thinking back <laughs> to the last time I was on your channel and I was in such a confused point of life. And oh, man. New York City, Lexi is thriving, living her best life. I think you have... Poor just, little Allie Lexi, she just didn't. She, well, she, she didn't just didn't know. She didn't know what she was doing. Most of your friends were out in LA, all of us, and so it just felt like the right thing to do, and you had a lot of fun, you experienced a lot, you learned a lot. I think everything happens for a reason, and you know, maybe if you had moved out here at that time, you wouldn't have been ready. Mm. Um, and I think you needed to experience that to know that, you know, the grass wasn't greener on that side. <laughs> 
Not only because we're in a drought, but you know. And I think you needed to realize that LA was not for you so that you could come to New York and realize that <laughs> she's yeah. never moving back. Oh, right, anyway, so if no one knows who this is, Lexi, you were my roommate for th three years, right? Mm -hmm. You, we lived we in lived the same- We lived together, just you and I, and then we lived with Jack and Drew. For two years. Did you leave for, you know, maybe a little- A year and a half. A year and a half, so two and a half years of living together. There are some days where I lay in bed, and I, I have a tear, and I have a tear, and I'm like, oh man, I miss Lexi. I do. I we were talking too. about how we don't really like cry too much. We'll have a moment where we cry for 30 seconds and then we're like, oh my god, we're crying and then we stop crying. But I think a lot of people share that problem where it's like you want to cry but you don't. Oh, there you go. What we were saying is I was making the point that I wish I cried more and I felt like I needed to cry. I felt like I have this energy that I need to release. Mm -hmm. But then Claudia was making the point that when she does actually start to shed tears, you make that mental note of like, oh wow, I'm crying and You're it like, oh. stops you from mm -hmm. crying. So for me to say that I have genuinely teared up thinking about how much I miss that part of my life because you were such a big part of it of my days and my life and stuff I was making sure I wasn't kissing my own hand um, and, and so to say that I've teared up I think is is me trying to say a really strong thing I love you love you too <laughs> I don't want this to just because the camera's here no this no this is real as fuck dude we've been here until like it's so intimate on to share though with with your subscribers. I know. Well, it's just crazy because it just kind of happened in the blink of an eye. Like you, you guys listen. This this girl over here goes to New York for two weeks, all right? For like fashion week or something. Leaves for two weeks. We're all like, well, it's pretty long, whatever. Comes back, decides she's moving. It was all pretty abrupt if I'm gonna call you out here, you know? You had an impulse decision. It changed your life. Listen, it was for the better, but I <laughs> miss you yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding You're it fine. was it was do you remember the goodbye though oh like, my gosh I have it still on my phone that I cried oh that's that was really hard that night that cry genuinely that's one of that's Cause I don't yeah. think we really realized how <sighs> how much of an impact it, we had had on each other and how much of an impact it was gonna be to not be around each other all the time because I mean, you, you were take, family. You like, take it for granted. I mean, like, you are family. <laughs> <But> <laughs> it sounds like you died. <laughs> I mean, I took it for granted, like, seeing you every day. You really do take it for granted. It's crazy. Because it was crazy. like, oh, I just see you every day. And yeah. this is something that I would like to make a point of. I personally feel like sometimes I'll cherish the relationships I have with people that I don't see as often, like, vocally. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, oh, I love this person so much, but really it's just a friend I see, like, every once in a while. Yeah. And I forget to be like, oh, I love Claudia so much because I just see you every single All day. All the time. Because you think about those people that you see at parties or, like, out on the weekends, and you're like, oh, every time I see that person, they're you always having so the best time. And, like, and you're like, I'm so happy around them. I mean, we saw each other through every single moment, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's weird. Literally every sort of mood situation we really whatever well together. so well together it only made us closer have we ever gone into a fight oh, I love that I love that I don't think we've ever gotten to a fight honestly but I think well it's just cool because yeah when the whole like YouTube beauty guru thing first started we were like definitely in the same friend group but like weren't that we were, close we didn't have you a one-on-one -on -one relationship there we go yeah we really didn't um and then <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? It's a, actually, it's a really kind of good setup. That kind of worked, yeah. I was in kind of a situation where I needed a roommate ASAP when like Aspen decided she and, wanted to move back home. Well, we and had then, the same manager, and we had she the called same me manager. up because she was the one being like, "Have you ever thought about coming to uh, out to LA?" And I was like, "No, not really." And she's mm -hmm. like, "Well, if you do." I can set up everything for you. Like, I'll find you a room, I'll find you jobs, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. She's like, yo, Claudia Saluski, Aspen's moving out. I say you move in. Do it. You'll love it. And I was sort of like, okay, I've, like, met her. I'm, like, friendly with her. Yeah. I came for... You were, yeah, LA you were in town. Beauty Con or IMATS mm -hmm. or something like that. And we were in line at LF and in line for the dressing room. Megan had told you and Megan had told me. So we me, knew of the situation. And it, we looked at each other and we're like, do you want to live together? Do you want to be roommates? And then we're like, ah! <laughs> Immediately leave LF. Call my mom and say, okay, we're going to live together. Like, I'm moving to LA. We were like li such a power couple. We were such a duo. Mwah. I love you. I love you. We'd have our like sleepover nights where we'd be like, F everyone else. We're just going to have a Claudia and Lexi night. <laughs> that was cute. And we'd listen to podcasts. <laughs>
Thank you for listening to Claude and Lex. We're probably gonna head to bed soon because it's pretty late, right? I looked at the Uber app an hour and a half ago. Good night. This is what happens. Oh my god, right now it is like 8.30, five hours of sleep. Grab some Starbucks. All right, we changed. Eventually. Uh. I failed, failed miserably, you guys. I'm with Joey. Hey. We just had a, as we're calling, we just, we had a day in the city. We had a day in the city. We just did a sex interview. We were you missed all the filming, okay? <laughs> Let's just summarize. Oh my god, I should have honestly let them borrow my G7X. That's like the climax of the story, literally. But um, shh. Good pun. Thank you. We grabbed some lunch. It was delicious. You had a Claudia Wants burger, a CW burger. I did, I did have a Claudia Wants burger. But Claudia didn't want a burger today. Claudia got salmon. And then we went to Cha Cha Matcha, which was such a fail because I wanted to get the soft serve and we were so excited. And what happened when we walked in? What it happened? Broken. It was broken, you guys. On our way home, what did we stumble upon? These three women came up to us and were like, hey, uh, can we ask you a few questions on camera? Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, sure, yeah, we're, we're YouTubers. Let's do it. We're great at questions yeah, like, on camera. Yeah, supernatural. Cool, let's do it. Little did we know till after the interview this was for <laughs> orgasm the new mindfulness is here orgasmic meditation hashtag orgasmic meditation so they start off so like, Are you two dating and we're like no <laughs> And they're like, great, so let's talk about your sex life for like 20 minutes. <laughs> like it like, was a solid 25 okay, or 20 minutes. Okay, right? great. Yep. I'm just going to give a rundown real quick. Are you alone in this What? <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. What do you want to do? I'll join you. Okay, you'll just be in the, a bystander in the back. Okay, basically, okay. so what did they ask us? They had us play like a word association game. They were like, how do you love to be loved? <sighs> Keep in mind, it's like 89 degrees outside, so we're like sweating. It was just a whole thing, you guys. It was she a whole thing. She was like, what's it like? To be loved by you. I was yeah. like, I don't know. Ugh. You pulled out that answer and I was like, good job. It's, I mean, like, it's an uncomfortable one to answer. You guys, it's been a day. It's been a yeah. day. <laughs> Update. I feel like I'm always just vlogging in my hotel room now, but I'm taking a nap. Doesn't look cute. Oh dear. All right. We're, I'm I'm gonna go. We're saying goodbye. Oh my god, I want to come back soon though, you guys. Yeah, gotta get come familiar. back to New York. That wasn't long enough. Claudia's viewers in New York tell her she's gotta come back. Tell her that she's got people here that love and support her. Then you yeah. are here. More and I love often. and support people here. That's the that's the plan. You're coming back. All right, this back. is so cheesy. All right, you guys, we're bye. going. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs>